35 years ago, China was a nation mired in violence and poverty. Under Chairman Mao, who led the revolution that created the People's Republic, millions had starved. Today, China has transformed the lives of many of its citizens and is challenging the world. This is the story of how communist China learned to love capitalism, the most significant change in world politics in our times. And it's the story of the man who fought Maoism to make it happen, Deng Xiaoping. Deng Xiaoping, an extremely influential leader of the People's Republic of China from 1978 till 1992, came into power after the death of Mao Zedong. During Mao Zedong's rule, the country had experienced almost 30 years of turbulent revolutionary efforts in an attempt to create a communist China. However, instead of bringing prosperity to China, Mao's regime left the country in economic ruins. Xiaoping came to power during a time of incredible political and economic instability from the resulting cultural revolution of the Mao era. Xiaoping valued economic growth over political ideology and produced a completely new vision for China, a modern, industrial, and prosperous socialist nation. Deng opened China's doors to foreign investment, the global market, and limited private competition. In this article, Deng Xiaoping speaks of his vision for the future of China. Xiaoping wanted to mix socialism with capitalism, what he called a Chinese-style socialism. He wanted to combine a planned economy with a market economy and introduce structural reforms, but to introduce capitalism with limits to maintain the foundational aspects of socialism. However, to maintain his goal, his biggest threat came from the Communist Party itself. So to overcome this threat, he wanted to educate the hardline communists like the army, persons working in the organs of dictatorship, and the Communist Party members and the people including the youth. Part of his education pursuits were to establish the revolutionary young, well-educated, and professional, professionally competent. But this was crucial for the future of China to maintain long-term peace and stability. His emphasis were educating the youth and placing them in positions of leadership while still respecting the old to ensure better stability and economic growth. This document shows how a developing country like China could have a significant economic growth shows how a change in political nature is sometimes necessary to ensure an economic growth. The impact that was made by Deng Xiaoping was and still is huge. His most notable contributions being the development of China into one of the fastest growing economies in the world, as well as the significant resulting rise of standard of living for hundreds of millions of Chinese people. And his legacy continues. Since Deng Xiaoping's death in 1997, China has enjoyed a period of growth and stability unprecedented in its history. The economy has grown at a staggering average of 10% a year. 200 million have been lifted out of poverty. Tiananmen, I mean, I mean, that's not... Deng's legacy. I mean, if you look around, I mean, go to Walmart, look around. I mean, <laughs> the world is going to China today. I mean, Deng succeeded where Mao never did. The China that Deng inherited was one of the world's poorest countries. Today, it's poised to dominate the future. <laughs> 